Hey guys, it's Howard here. I'm the creator of the Getting Started in 2D Animation online course. So first of all, I just want to reintroduce who I am again, just in case you don't know. I'm a full-time professional animator from London. I spend most of my time working on a wide variety of commission projects. And it's great because I get to work with people from all over the world, but from the comfort of my own home as an animator. And then I typically document my process for you guys, um, put it up on the YouTube channel to show you. And most of the time these videos are pretty advanced. I've never taken a deep deep dive before into the basics of my animation process and how I create animations. Until now. I got my start in animation through trial and error. Entering into animation tournaments and learning with each animation that I made. Uh, it took a long time. Um, I've been animating for eight years, maybe nine years. If you count the first year, I don't know. It was kind of casual in the first year. And all along the way, I read through countless technical books and eventually I worked my way up to earning a degree in animation. The dilemma I can see that a lot of young animators are having is that they're self-taught, they're learning from home, and they're learning animation using free online resources. And free online resources are great. I've used them countless times in the past, but it's a long, slow process full of distractions and advertisements. On, on the other hand, spending years of your time in formal education and uh, spending thousands and thousands of dollars on conventional education might be too much of a commitment for a lot of people. Many people are unwilling or unable to do that. And, uh, and if you think about what you get as part of going to a university and taking an educational course, a lot of what you're paying for isn't actually the animation education itself. It's um, renting a dorm room, it's paying for food and travel, it's a lot of things like that. So I've created this course which is somewhere in the middle, which is going to give you the best bits of a proper educational course for people who are serious about learning at a pace where you can set your own pace, you have lifetime access to it, and you can go at any speed you want in any order that you want from your own home. Does the course teach camera angles and camera movement? Yes, it does, um, especially camera angles. Remember that this is this is kind of like setting the foundations of making animations um, and being an independent animator. So a big part of that is setting up your own camera angles. Well, camera angles, the angles of your shots, especially when it comes to composition and deciding where to place the camera in each shot. Are you teaching how to import footage into software? Yes, I've got that in the course. I show you how I shoot my own reference and I bring that reference into the animation software. It's a really cool technique, very powerful technique, uh, where you can actually draw over video footage, um, which you've seen me do in my Sakuga Studies uh, video. So you can see already how that is a very useful tool for learning animation and for doing rotoscope techniques, if you like, and, and other kind of reference studies. How long will this last? I really want to learn from you and get great at 2D animation, but I'm dead broke. Will these courses always be here for me? Yep, you can start at any time and you can take as long as you want. That being said, I'm opening this course at a sale. Depending on when you're watching this, the sale might be on right now, so you should really go and check if it's currently happening to get it at the best price it's gonna be. Okay, a lot of questions about software here, and that's understandable. Uh, this person says, do we need to have TV Paint or can we work through the whole course in Flash? I can't create software tutorials for every software out there. There are just too many animation programs for me to make a tutorial about all of them. However, included in this course, I have a full tutorial series on Adobe Flash slash Adobe Animate. They're basically the same software. 
and I've got a full tutorial course series on TV paints. So obviously those are the ones that I recommend most highly. Flash is a great program for learning animation if you're new to animation because it's very intuitive. TV Paint is very good. Often the price point of TV Paint makes it more of a, it puts it in that professional ranking where mostly professionals use TV Paint. What software will you be using? So for the first two exercises, I will be using Adobe Flash. I recommend that beginners get a 30 day free trial of Adobe Flash because it's a very nice intuitive software to start out on as an animator. Get the 30 day free trial, you don't have to pay anything. Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate, uh, it's now known as Adobe Animate, so sorry, Adobe Animate. Um, get a 30 day free trial of Adobe Animate and follow along with that. It's a good software, it's very intuitive. I know people complain about it all the time, but it is actually a good software. That's what I recommend. If you don't want to do that, you can you can download Critter, which is a very good free software, or OpenTunes. But I personally prefer Critter to OpenTunes, uh, despite the limitations that Critter has. I just think it's more intuitive. Now, also, I've got to say that my pipeline especially towards post-production where I'm exporting things, encoding them, doing backgrounds, compositing, editing. These things I use other Adobe software. So Adobe Premiere, I use Adobe After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. So if you really wanna know what I use, a lot of it is the Adobe Creative Suite. And I know that's gonna leave some people out. Some people don't wanna get that software, but it's the industry standard software. So if you wanna one day be a studio animator, you better know how to use the Adobe Creative Suite. And as an independent animator, someone who produces their own animation, uh, it, you'd be a fool to try and avoid using the Adobe Creative Suite. It's just so good. Again, you can get free trials of all of this software. So by the end of the month, when you've uh, finished your free trial, worst case scenario, you get to the end of the month and you've learned a new software, which is going to look really good on your portfolio and it's gonna set you up for more jobs in the future. So, you know, it's a win-win really. <laughs> will you be teaching Sakuga animation? No, I will not be teaching Sakuga animation in this course. Sakuga animation is advanced animation techniques and this is the fundamentals of 2D animation. So yeah, I get asked by a lot of people about Sakuga animation. The whole point of this course is that it's laying the foundations so that you understand the fundamentals of this course before you go into, into the advanced stuff. So uh, a big problem that I see all the time is beginner animators trying to animate what they see in their favorite anime series. And then they become very confused when they are not able to do it very well. It doesn't turn out as well as they would have hoped. And the reason is because often they haven't actually taken the time to learn the fundamentals of animation and the fundamentals of drawing, composition, and filmmaking. All of your favorite Sakuga animators started by learning the foundations. They would not be able to do what they have done if they didn't learn the fundamentals. If Sakuga animation is what you want to do, it's better to build your way up to it. Will I be able to animate my own short stories as you do? Well, this is the perfect course for that. That's exactly what I'm trying to get across to you through this course is teaching you my methods of creating animated stories. The aim of this course is not just to make you a good animator, but to make you a great animation filmmaker and learn how you can create your own stories as well. We've got a whole module in there on storytelling fundamentals and storyboarding fundamentals as well. So it's not just the animation principles. I wouldn't like it for you to only be able to animate in a studio environment. I want you to be able to animate from your own home and make an entire animated story by yourself because that's what I've been doing for my entire career and um, my entire life as an animator has been that. It's been making everything from scratch and just making 
decisions myself and not having to wait for anyone's permission to go and animate something. Will you teach us compositing as well? Yes. I demonstrate all the stages of the animation process for you, including compositing. And for the compositing stage, I use Adobe After Effects because that is a an industry standard compositing software. I highly recommend Adobe After Effects for compositing. I don't yet have a graphics tablet, so I was wondering, does it matter to have a graphic tablet while learning in this course? Yes, so the idea of the course is that it gives you advice for how to go out and buy a tablet as well for the purchasing decisions. So if you don't have a tablet yet, you can wait and enroll in this course and then find out from within the course what your options are. You can't get into horse riding without buying or renting a horse. You can't get into photography without buying or renting a camera. There are certain activities in this world that just need some upfront investment. Unless you can literally just buy a pad of paper and, and you're happy with making flipbook animations, which is, that costs next to nothing, and that's really good. But I think most people here, they want to publish their animations online, they want to have a digital workflow. You need to invest a little bit of money. But the thing is, if you get good enough at it, you can take on commissions and you can make all that money back. Every cent that I've spent on equipment, I've made back from commissions. So it's an investment, really, it's an investment. Would it be manageable to study this while already enrolled in an educational course? I believe yes, uh, precisely because you can go at your own pace for this. I've got uh, over 110, it might be 120 video lessons now on the course. That is self-directed study. You can take them completely at your own pace. You can even set the video speed so that I c you can speed up the way I talk or you can slow down how I talk depending on how fast you take on new information. Um, and you can, you can visit lessons in any order. You can revisit lessons. So that is completely self-directed. You, um, you have complete control over that and it's lifetime access and that makes it a very effective learning supplement. So let's say you're taking a, an animation course at university or college level or high school level. You can learn in the classroom certain things and then if you want to go deeper into a certain subject, you can just go through the archive of uh, lessons that, I've, that I have in this course and watch the ones that, that you want to watch. And so it's a great supplement to your learning. Question, how long will the course take for me to complete? Uh, the answer is that that really depends entirely on you. The course condenses a lot of information, but remember there are over 110 video lessons. If you were to go through one lesson per day, it would take you like three months. But the lessons are pretty small, you know, they're pretty small condensed pieces of information. Depending on how casual you are with it or how, uh, how fast you want to get through it, you could get through it in a month. You could get through it in three weeks. You could get through it in two months. If you're following along with all the exercises and you do the exercises in the workbook and you get feedback and you work on that feedback through the workbook, you have enough content in this course to last you well over a year of full-time education. I hope this video has given you enough information to make a decision on whether you want to be part of this course and uh, thank you for everyone with your sim supportive messages thank you for watching thank you for listening to me and uh yeah i hope you have a nice day bye <laughs>